Back in Philadelphia one last time for the Braves and the Phillies. It's game four, the finale of their series here tonight at 7.15 p.m. Eastern. It'll be Julio Tehran taking on Drew Smiley, and we'll have a preview of that matchup here in just a couple of moments. Braves winning game number 91 last night. They have now surpassed their win total from all of 2018, 91 and 56 as they enter play here tonight for game four against Philly. The lead over the Nationals remains nine and a half. Washington defeated the Twins in Minnesota last night, but the Braves with that win dropped their magic number to eight to clinch their division uh, the National League East for the second consecutive year. Now the earliest the Braves could clinch the division if they won out and the Nationals lost out between now and Sunday would be Sunday in the nation's capital, but it sure looks like it's lining up for the Braves to clinch another division in front of the Phillies on the upcoming homestand here in uh, five or six days back at SunTrust Park. Meanwhile, the Phillies, they're five games over 500. They are third place in the National League East. They are still just two games back of that wild card uh, race for the second spot in the National League wild card, and that is becoming a very cramped wild card race. Should be a lot of fun to see how it plays itself out here over the final two and a half weeks. Three to one was your final in last night's ball game, a ball game that saw Dallas Keuchel retire the first 11 batters he faced. He gave up just one earned on three hits, over six innings worth of work, three walks, eight strikeouts. I got to tell you, that two-seamer and that changeup may be the best we've ever seen from Dallas Keuchel in a Braves uniform. He continues to get better and better as the season gets closer and closer to the finish line. How about 5-0 and with an 097 ERA in his last six starts? Uh, that's since that debacle in Miami. He has been lights out. Certainly feels like he is peaking at the right time. How about some history made for the Braves last night in the sixth, uh, seventh inning rather? Chris Martin, a 1-2-3 inning. He struck out the side on nine pitches. That is called an immaculate inning. And that's the first time we've seen that happen in a Braves uniform since uh, all the way back in 2007. Buddy Carlisle was the last Braves pitcher to post an immaculate inning. Just the fifth time in franchise history a Braves pitcher has gone out there and struck out the side on nine pitches. So Chris Martin made some history last night. Matt Joyce continues to swing the bat well. He has reached base safely in 28 of his 30 starts here on the season. Johan Camargo, we do know he left the game uh, with that injury. He fouled the ball uh, off his right leg just below his knee. Very scary situation because a lot of shades of what happened to uh, Christian Yelich the other night. But the good news, it's just a contusion. The Braves will likely stay away from uh, Johan Camargo for the next couple of days. And we should see him back in the lineup. So nothing major as far as he's concerned. He was on crutches, trying not to put too much weight on it last night. Uh, but everybody involved uh, feels like the Braves dodged a bullet. Not a major injury with Johan Camargo. Speaking of injuries, Nick Markakis just a short time ago wrapped up another round of uh, batting practice here at Citizens Bank Park. And uh, we do expect to see him barring any setbacks in the lineup tomorrow night in Washington, D.C. But expect to see him in left field. As the Braves face righties, it does sound like Brian Snitker is inclined to move Markakis to left, keep Matt Joyce in right, where he is more comfortable. Uh, so again, uh, that's what you expect to see from Markakis when he comes back. He was actually working out, taking some ground balls and uh, tracking balls in left field here uh, the last couple of days as well. Julio Tehran gets the ball for the Braves here in the finale tonight. Tehran 10-8 and on the season in uh, 30 starts, a 331 ERA for the veteran right-hander. His last four starts, he's been outstanding. How about three total? Total earned runs on 14 hits over his last 25 innings pitched with more strikeouts than innings pitched. That is a little bit different for Julio Tehran. 26 Ks in his last 25 innings pitched. He did start here on opening day. It was not great. Three earned runs over five innings worth of work. The one matchup you always keep an eye on when uh, Julio Tehran faces uh, the Nationals in years past and now the Phillies going forward is Bryce Harper. Harper, a 1592 OPS in 55 plate appearances lifetime against Julio Tehran. He's 18 for 43 with three doubles and eight lifetime home runs. He has really just owned Julio Tehran over the course of his career. Meanwhile, it'll be Drew Smiley, the 30-year-old Southpaw, getting the ball for the Phillies here tonight. Former teammate of Dallas Keuchel at Arkansas. They were Razorbacks. They were in the same rotation at the University of Arkansas, and he'll be on the mound for the Phillies here tonight. 3-1, three a 393 ERA in nine starts with the Phillies. Phillies signed him to a minor league deal back on July the 21st, uh, but how about the fact that over his last seven starts, hasn't been great. A 506 earned run average with 10, 10 home runs allowed over his last 37 
innings worth of work. So we'll see what happens here tonight. It's cloudy, it's windy, there's a chance of some showers and thunderstorms between now and game time. Hopefully those will clear out and we won't have any weather delays because the Braves do have to, uh, to head down to DC following tonight's ball game. But again, first things first, it's the Braves and the Phillies. It's game four and it comes your way tonight at 7.15 p.m. Eastern. A little bit later start time here tonight, 7.15 p.m. Eastern. Jim Powell and Joe Simpson, they'll have the call for you right here on 680 The Fan and the Atlanta Braves Radio Network.